You're listening to the Peas Inner Network. For more great podcasts, go to peasinner.com.au. Hello and welcome to Best Life Forgotten, a deliberately unofficial and uncanon actual play podcast. My name is Jess Wolfendale and I'm your keeper. My name is Miriam Feetz and I will be playing Agnes Finch. My name is Nathan Quadrio and I'll be playing Sophia Finch. And welcome back to session two of our Regency Call of Cthulhu miniseries here in the marvellous module of No to Notoriety by S.R. Sellens. Here, here. <laughs> I'll let you get that out. Huzzah! <laughs> if you haven't listened to part one, I would suggest going back to that one first, but you do you. Uh, now, in case you've forgotten, I had a dream which was not all a dream. The bright sun was extinguished and the stars did wander darkling in the eternal space. Lord Byron's poem, Darkness, abridged here, dearest listener, was penned in 1816, more famously known as the year without a summer. T'was a similar, though significantly less reported upon chill, that thrilled and chilled the hearts of the Finch sisters that summer day at Thornhill Manor. Two perfectly ordinary young women, invited to the ball of the season by their lovesick companion, Miss Harriet Fenchurch and joined by her paramour, the somewhat reckless Lieutenant Wandsworth. Arriving the morning of the ball, the group was greeted by the gaunt figure of Sir Jasper Dolfray. Unkempt and seemingly rushed by preparations for his event that evening, Miss Fenchurch led the tour of the grounds. They earned the respect of Sir Jasper's aunt, Lady Dolfray, and were able to uncover family secrets, including the brief disappearance of a young Jasper within the strangely shaped hedge maze where, some two hundred years beforehand, his ancestor Aubrey Dolfray had also seemingly vanished leaving behind nothing more than smoking shoes, a walking cane embedded in a tree, and a patch of ground that refused to grow again. The Finch sisters also discovered Sir Jasper's plans to debut a new dance at the ball, much to Lady Dolfray's dismay, with music he had personally penned but not yet delivered to the anxious musicians. The morning, however, took a turn in the twisted hedge maze, as Agnes and Sophia found themselves wandering, separated in a sudden snowstorm. Catching fleeting glances of a figure that walked through the leafy walls like a spectre, they were flung into the centre of the maze where the figure, now revealed to be the dancing master, proffered his hand and invited them to dance. So, Agnes and Sophia, standing here in the centre of the maze, pinpricks of snow alighting cold sparks along your skin, the dancing master stands before you. What do you do? Are we both in the same space again like can we yep you're yep. both okay. in the center yep. of the maze a couple feet from each other surely we should save our dancing for the ball yeah right he's like <laughs> 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 you know fair enough <laughs> <laughs> fair enough mate see you in there <laughs> and he disappears thanks uh, <laughs> uh he looks up at you these dark pits where his eyes once were boring into you and nothing He waits. I believe you were once friends with Sir Jasper? We are guests of his. I think that he would very much look forward to seeing you, if you'd like to join us at the ball. He looks between the two of you for a moment and says, Let me show you the steps. To Sir Jasper's new dance? Surely you would like some practice, he says, looking at Agnes. But don't we need the moon and stars above us? It's so dull in the sky tonight. Is that not important? I like it. (laughs) I like it. What is your goal here? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) I don't know what my goal here is. I want to get out. Agnes is like, but we could learn about that ritual. Correct. (laughs) So I, I know that that's what Agnes is looking for. And so I'm kind of being like, oh, why don't you... Tell us as much as you can without us having to do a dance because I think mm. we might die by doing this. <laughs> That's fair. Or something weird like that. Yeah, he looks back to you, Sophia, and he says, "'Tis only practice. And then we would be back in time for the real dance tonight. I give you my word. Yeah, I'm going to start walking <laughs> Great. forwards. You start approaching the dancing master. Sophia, what are you doing? I'm just going to let Agnes go first. Great. Do you take the hand? Yeah, I'll I'll get maybe three feet mm-hmm. away from him and I'll do like a little curtsy and stand back up. Wonderful. Your word? My word. 
and then I'll give him my hand. You feel a shiver travel up your arm as your hands grip gently, and he promenades you off to his right in the starting position. He extends his hand to you, Sophia. Do you join or do you stay? I'll join. Wonderful. His hand is solid, maybe surprising you a little bit. You weren't 100% Mm -hmm. sure if he was tangible until this moment. He feels strange. It's sort of like when you touch someone whose hands are really cold and it's sort of like that sudden shock of uh, Mm -hmm. temperature change. And Does it feel like skin? Not quite. Okay. And with the two of you in the starting position, he bows. And then side by side, the dance begins. He starts humming softly and begins walking you through the first steps of a dance. It reminds you somewhat of a quadrille, Mm -hmm. but with different timings and strange sets of movements. Simple, but becoming more complex as you go from this sort of square formations to more modern loops and twists. As they increase in speed and complexity, you're struggling to keep up. I'm going to ask for a dancing check from both of you and... Boy, howdy. (gasps) Yeah, okay. (laughs) (laughs) That that seems about right. Yep. So it's a 31, which is a fail for me. Yep. That's a two for me, which is an extreme success. Extreme success. success. Glad one of us got there. Yes. Is it possible that while we're dancing, I could also be trying to, like, memorize the melody that he is humming? Yeah. I'm going to say. Or just like even just a a refrain of it. (laughs) Yeah, I think so. I want to ask. Not for like the dance skill, but for like Mm -hmm. in my mind, I'm like, I want to be able to like when the sheet music comes in. Recognize it. Like see if it's the same, like he's humming the Mm. thing that's going to be on the sheet music. I don't think it's music you're going to forget anytime soon. I also want the two of you to spend one magic point for participating in this dance, which I believe is in the top right there. Yeah. Get rid of one of those. Sophia. Yes. You lock into the movements Mm -hmm. of the dancing master and despite the situation, you feel that knot of excitement uh, that only comes with dancing from a partner. God, I'm sorry. (laughs) I don't know that we can. (laughs) (laughs) That knot of excitement that only comes with dancing with a partner totally in sync, being led with such conviction that the steps come completely naturally. As you spin, the world blurs and resolves itself into an endless expanse not empty exactly but a wash with a soft shimmering rainbow undulating like an oil slick you're filled with a sense of buoyant euphoria as you feel yourself floating through a world of endless joy and excitement and dancing you know that here there are no rules no restriction no shackles of society just bliss forever and ever agnes Mm mm-hmm For a few bars, you feel like you might be getting the hang of it. Yeah. But as it starts to pick up pace, you start to fall behind. You watch your sister in sync with the dancing master and he frowns at you over her shoulder and you try to catch back up, but it's just a bit too much. You stumble, you fall to your hands and knees and you find that the ground is covered with a thick layer of fog. Only the barest patch of ground visible where it's been disturbed by your fall, the earth scorched and blackened. As you raise your head where there was once the green walls of the maze, there's nothing but smouldering foliage. Beyond, you can see the place where the manor once stood is now occupied by a crumbling ruin, a smoking hole in the centre. Inside you, you feel a sense of crushing despair and hopelessness. You raise your eyes up to the sky, which is completely obscured by an undulating blackness that seems to stare back at you, and you know, deep in your heart, that a terrible beast has come to feed. Can I get you both to make a sanity check? This feels like the time to spend luck, right? Uh, you cannot spend luck points on push rolls, sanity rolls, or luck rolls. Well, Apologies. then I fail. <laughs> well, <laughs> guess I fail. I pass. Amazing. Which seems right for the moment. That seems right. Yeah. Sophia, I want you to roll 1d2. Agnes, 1d4. And you lose that much sanity. I take two points. I take one. You both experience these visions almost simultaneously, but significantly Mm -hmm. different. You feel this loss within you, this sense of losing your grip on your understanding of the world and you're jerked out of your vision, out of the dance. And you're now both standing, having completed the set of movements in the center of this hedge maze. Is Agnes standing? She's not on the ground anymore. She would be 
on the ground, but you can mm. stand if you would like. Okay. Um, I think I stay on the ground for a moment. Can I see her? Yeah. And rush Agnes, and I'll try and help her up. I'm I'm fine. I promise. I, uh, what, um, what happened? Didn't you see it? I no. I I, I was dancing. It, it was blissful. It was all gone. It it was it was all fire and ash and and something was there and and it was going to feed and do i have any sense of this thing of everything went wrong so like i messed up the dance steps and therefore i saw the bad vision sophia kept the dance steps sophia saw the good vision do I have any sense of like what Sir Jasper's doing with the ritual is actually to stave off the hungry beast and not to? Mm. You are so many steps ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> like I have, like you'll, I had no idea about anything. And you're like, what about this? Because I've already solved it. <laughs> Good. Like whether whether misperforming is what causes the beast to come down and feed or whether the ritual is what's summoning. Like I, I probably don't have an amazing grasp, mm-hmm. but do I have any sense of like it was my misperformance that caused the beast's hunger or mm-hmm. was that always going to be there? I don't think you know at this yeah. moment. I think you could probably in having a bit more of a debrief with Sophia, maybe get an idea closer to that, doing a bit of research. But in this moment, I don't think it's completely clear. Yeah. Whatever Sir Jasper's doing with the dance and the music, it's far greater than it's beyond anything I thought existed. Is there a stick or something on the ground? There can be, sure. Okay. I'd like to pick up a stick. Great, you pick up a stick. And I like to point it at the dancing master in a threatening manner. Great, you do so. What have you done here? What have you done to my sister? He stares at you, void black eyes, and he smiles. And as he smiles, his mouth pulls too wide. Classic. What? <laughs> Classic Cthulhu. Hell yeah. Uh, his mouth opens beyond the edges of his jaw and still he smiles. His form grows taller, his limbs longer, and his body undulates into this vicious mockery of humanity. He begins to writhe towards you as his elongated arms reach out to continue the dance. What do you do? I think I'm genuinely just like, okay, this is happening. Yeah. Like, I just saw... What looked like the end of the world with a giant yeah. dark creature coming from the sky to feed on us all. Like, okay, like, sure. Well, cool. Guess cool. Guess this is happening too now. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, what do you do? I'd like to squat down. I'd like to grab some dirt in my hand and I'd like to fling it in the face of the dancing master. Great. Go ahead and why not? We won't get to do it another time probably. Roll a brawl check. Hell yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, no, that's <sighs> that's rough. That's really not good. It's an 86. Great. You uh, fling this dirt upwards, but it passes straight through his form and still he comes for you. Okay. I probably wouldn't have seen that because I'd like to turn around, grab Agnes and try and run away. You guys run. Yeah. As we run, can I be screaming? Harriet! Wandsworth! Yeah, great. You start screaming at the top of your lungs into this weird cold space you run through the maze leaving the dancing master behind you making turn after turn the wind whips up a- I didn't think this through <laughs> running away from a queer, creepy ghost man in a maze <laughs> we're not getting out <laughs> there's no exit anymore the snow impedes your vision and your movement the hedges themselves seem to undulate like limbs reaching out to grab you then as you turn a corner Agnes, can you make a dexterity check? We'll find out, won't we? Mm-hmm. That is a 61 and my dexterity is 65. <gasps> nice. You turn around a corner and straight into someone, but you manage to stop yourself from completely bowling them over. And you do the same. You sort of, we have this beautiful little uh, train moment where you run into the mm-hmm. back of Agnes. Agnes sure. runs into the figure, but we all stay upright and it's a miracle. And you both look up and you find that the wind is no longer stinging your face. The sky is no longer overcast, but a bright sunny blue. Uh, birds sing, bees hum, and you're in the arms of Sir Jasper Dolfrey. Uh, 
He's no longer disheveled. He's dressed in fine clothing of the latest fashion. Walking stick discarded when you ran into him. But there he is. Is this the same Jasper Dolfrey or are we still like 20, 30 years beforehand and this is young (laughs) Jasper? Is this a time travel? Well, he's not a child. So you wouldn't be all the way back in when he got lost in the maze. Okay. But if you want That's to, a positive. If you want to roll an occult check, you can try to determine whether you're still in this weird past space. Why not? Oh, that's why. I've got a five. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I never know. Let's give it a go. Hey, yeah, go I don't on. lose anything by rolling this one. That's a 90. Yeah. Um, only 85 awake. Do I have enough luck to... <laughs> can I push this roll? <laughs> can I... This is just Miriam imposing things on myself um, for (laughs) flavour. So we've just been in freezing cold snow. Yeah. I've just danced, had an awful vision, and then run further than I've run in probably the last, like, ten years. Can I make a constitution check? Because my lungs are probably not very happy right now. do it. That's good. That's a 15. Wow, man. Okay. I think I slam into Sir Jasper – And there's a moment where I'm just sort of waiting for my body to like crash in on itself like it normally would. And then it doesn't. Yeah, it's it's strange. Like even though you experienced this horrible crushing vision, the dance still invigorated you in a way like Mm. it's exciting. You're you're living in a book like this is it's kind of cool, even though it's horrifying, you know. Uh, Sir Jasper, I'm. Oh, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Miss Finch, you, are, are you quite all right? Miss Sophia, <laughs> is she quite all right? I, I can't speak for my sister. We've just, we've just had the most awful time. Jasper, we've... And I'd, I'd just like to cast a quick glance at Agnes, because even though I'm her <sighs> support, I still defer to mm-hmm. kind of... She definitely is has there, a better handle yeah. on this. Um, oh, gosh. Is it like a psychology check? Is that like an insight? Yeah. Can I like, we've clearly come from the maze. We're clearly greatly disheveled mm-hmm. and out of touch. Yep. Does he look too interested in that fact? Yeah, roll psychology. You know what? I'm going to spend four luck to make that lice. that 53 to 50. Go. Sorry, I just said lice instead of nice. <laughs> but I don't, I don't think that you'll pick that up in the recording. <laughs> yeah. Lice. Yeah, you look at him and you see that he's being very polite in this mm. moment, but he's a bit annoyed. Like he, he's only being polite out of societal necessity. He he's has not too interested in you. Yeah. Almost the opposite. His mind is on other things. Okay. Uh, we, we don't get out very much at home and I'm afraid the excitement of the maze got us a little bit turned around and we were very worried we weren't going to make it back out, but, um. We're very excited for the ball. We're, yes. We're just, th- and we were just running, sprinting for the ball indeed. Of course. Um, you do seem quite shaken. Uh, shall I have someone show you to your rooms to recover? Oh. Uh, We'll find our own way. We'll be back. okay. All right. You um, do look wonderful, though. Thank you, uh, Miss Sophia. I shall see you later then. Uh, thank yes. you. Good day. Good day. Just sort of okay. Leaves. Is he going further in the maze? <laughs> yep. Is that what he's doing? Because I'm like speaking of that track check. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm. We are going straight back in the maze if he is. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That makes sense. Yeah, he would be going further into the maze. Okay, so are we. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to grab Agnes's yeah. wrist. I thought you were going to say you grabbed Sir Jasper. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Grab Agnes's wrist and just look at her. And be- we have to go. We have to. My track is 10, so let's see how this goes. Yeah, start with the track. 28. Can I also track? I don't know how this yeah. kind of dog piling works in this game. Go on. There's only two of you. Ten, also ten. I'm going to spend six luck Wow. to make this a 10. All right. Yeah, Sophia, you you lose him on a turn briefly, mm. but then, yeah, you guys catch up. Are you trying to be stealthy? Yes. Yeah. That's that's a stealth check then. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh. It was almost a funny number. That's a 68, which does not pass on my 20. Oh, my God. That's an 81, which okay. does not pass on my 40. Good. Great. Should I spend like 41 <laughs> luck right now? <laughs> yeah. I don't recommend it. You can push yourselves if you can figure out a reason why you would do that. 
how you would do that yeah. rather. So we're just trying to hide, right? Yeah, you see you guys turn a corner and you thought you were further behind Sir Jasper than you were, but you come out only a few feet behind him. Can I push? I don't know if it would still be a stealth roll, but I think I want to like try and get one of my gloves onto the ground and if he sees us to be like, a, oh, that's where it was. And push to sort of redirect yeah. what this will turn into so it doesn't look like we were following him. All right. Go ahead yeah. and roll. What am I rolling? Is Same thing. Stealth again? Yeah. Okay. You push yourself for stealth. 17, which is my half, which is... A strong success? A strong success. Or, or whichever one the middle one success. is. Hard success. Hard yes. success. So I think as we come out around this corner and... We see Sir Jasper's there. I think I push Sophia in front of me a little bit so I have time to throw one of my gloves onto the ground and I just, oh, thank heavens, there it is. And I'm just going to make a big, like yeah. like a big fuss in the sense of like, obviously if we were sneaking behind you, we would not be making this much noise kind of thing. Okay. And just try and play it off as nonchalant as possible. Like, oh, thank God, there it is. And just, yeah, brush past Sophia. Make sure I'm also like brushing the hedge. So I'm making a loud noise against the hedge as I like pick up the glove and cool. yeah. Yeah, no, he turns and he sees you and frowns, but with a hard success, he sort of goes, I... I'm afraid I, I lost it in the tizzy and I, I'll need it for the dance later. I'm s sorry to have disturbed you again, Sir Jasper. Of course. Uh, do you need me to show you the way out of the maze or are you quite... That old? would be wonderful. Could you walk with us? Of course. <laughs> he seems very confused why you asked him not to come with you and then asked him to come with you. But he's rolling with it because uh -huh. he is a gentleman. Yeah, no, he comes with his uh, walking stick and starts walking you guys out of the maze. Oh, Sir Jasper, I just, I have to ask, the new artwork you had on the ceiling of the ballroom, just stunning, absolutely stunning. Your own design? Uh, thank you, yes. Uh, based off of some texts I'd seen, but uh, yes, I did I did uh, refine the design myself. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. A, a particular time of, of year, a particular, um, it's not really my thing, but I, I've just... I love looking up at the night sky. Oh, of course. Uh, it's 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 a bit fantastical. It's not based on the actual night sky, as it were. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. He leads you a few. It's literally only a few turns and yeah. you guys uh, begin to see you're coming towards mm -hmm. the end of the maze. Mm -hmm. But you're moving quite yeah. slowly. Oh, He's yeah. also not a particularly constitution yes. heavy person. Mm -hmm. So he even stops a few times to catch his breath yeah. like you guys. Have time if you want to have a bit of conversation with him. I'm so excited to be dancing tonight. Oh, you must have learned so many amazing moves from your dancing master. You see this change in him as soon as you mention the dance. His tired, sort of weary... I'm just doing this because I have to attitude sort of vanishes uh, and it's replaced with a bit of a fervor. He goes, yes, I, I too am quite excited. I'm, I'm sure she'll be dance none she'll forget. And I hear that you composed the music for it yourself. That's quite a talent. Yes, uh, a bit of a hobby in my spare time. I've uh, had, I'm quite excited for this one. I heard it from the musicians before, but they said they did not yet have the music. Is there a chance you could sing us a refrain? Just, I have quite a passion for um, music composition myself. I want you to roll a persuade for me. I have been slayed because I've got high persuade and yeah. high fast talk and you haven't been letting me do anything. <laughs> <laughs> My persuade is 20. Excellent. That's a 32. Okay. So that does fail. That's all right. He sort of goes, I would rather save it for the surprise. I wouldn't want to give you an unfair advantage on the other dancers. Of course. New steps? Yes. My aunt disagrees in introducing a new ball at this stage <sighs> in the season, but uh, I've just got to get it out into the world, you know? Well, if not the music, then surely a little tittle-tattle and I can kind of, I kind of like <laughs> sidle up to him a little bit. Yeah, go ahead and roll a persuasion. I better get it now. <laughs> It would be so embarrassing if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yikes. Uh, with an 85, I could luck that. It's up to you. That would be a lot of your luck gone, though, wouldn't it? I'm going to push it. Oh, okay. God. I've been trying out something new. Perhaps I could show you. You know, I'm, I'm a bit of an amateur myself as well. <laughs> Just start dropping it in the middle of this <laughs> maze. Yeah. All right. This could be interesting. And I would like to 
do the moves that the dancing <gasps> master taught us. Do your this, thing. This is crazy. Go this ahead. This is insane. Okay, so I'm going to spend the two luck points Good call. to bring it to a success. That, that, that will be 50. He looks at you in shock. He, you see him sort of really try to restrain himself and pull himself back, and he goes, where did you come across such m- movements? As my sister said, <laughs> we don't get out much, and so I just like to, I don't know. I'm I'm not sure about this period of history. Put some music <laughs> on the phonograph? Question mark. <laughs> um, I'll pl- I play while you dance. Okay. <laughs> my on the s- piano forte. Yes. yes. My, yes. My, 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 uh, we don't get out much, and and my sister just loves to tinkle around on the piano forte, and I just make up my own dances, whatever comes to mind. I had no dancing master myself. Can I? Sorry. Yep. Can I? Try and just psychology check what emotion he was trying to restrain. Absolutely. Do a psychology. Is there like a lie check? Oh, hell yeah. That's a 44, which is a success for me. Excellent. Fast talk. Yeah. If you're trying to convince him that you weren't just doing the steps to the dancing master's dance. No, I just made them up. Roll a fast talk. That's a 75, which is a failure. Yep. Look, I don't lose anything by pushing. <laughs> well, you do well, if you, you do fail. If you fail, it gets exponentially worse. I've got a 60, though, which is pretty high. That's above average. And it's not necessarily the worst thing if you fail this role. He'll just. It might be if you push it and fail again, yeah. but it's up to you. Right now, he'll just know that we know something. Okay, I would like to say here's another one. Um, it's just an, an old, like hum a very well-known traditional tune and do something that's just a little bit weird or like switch and swap some of the the traditional moves to that song. I know we can't give the help action, but I think in the spirit of making a convincing, Mm. I think I start like clapping out the rhythm um, as she dances as well. All right. Roll again. It's not the same without the piano forte. (laughs) Okay. So that's a success. Great. 51. Excellent. Yeah, so the emotion you saw him restraining, mm. it was a little bit complicated, mm-hmm. but you clocked surprise, yep. confusion, but also excitement and passion. Like yep. he definitely recognized what was happening, yes, but didn't know how much to reveal in the moment and sort of restrained himself so that you know, if you weren't yeah. doing what he thought you were doing or you didn't know as much, he needed more information before he went on with whatever he was going to do. But he seemed excited about it. But he seemed excited on seeing these steps. Oh, I know we've just put all this effort into and not now, having him know that we yeah. know things. <laughs> uh, and he turns to you and goes, go for it. and yeah, you see him then breathe and relax a little bit. And he goes, ah, of of course, um, yes. Very, very well done. I, I shall take it into consideration, Miss Sophia. Do I do it? Obviously. <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, no. We're so flip floppy. We have to commit. <laughs> I, no, I'm ready to commit. Oh, God. Okay. Before you were like, <laughs> oh, I've dropped it. I wanted to chase him and be like, oh. tell us about the dancing master. Oh, okay. So I, I'm ready to go. Big, you, um, you, you guys exit from the maze, walking with him. You know, thinking about it, Sir Jasper. I I was quite panicked before, but now that I've had a moment, there have been some strange things occurring today. For instance, um, earlier, because we're approaching the tree with the walking stick in it now, right? Yeah, you're That's sort of, uh, of essentially it's on one corner of the yeah. maze. So like, yeah, you could easily yeah. see it from where um, you are. For instance, uh, the walking stick in the tree over there caught us quite by fancy. And then in the center of the maze, I could have sworn that I saw snow and a figure. I, I, I thought I knew all the gentlemen um, that you had invited here, but I, I think this one was somewhat different. He, he also seemed to be quite fleet of foot, as both you and my sister are. And I'm going to leave it at that for now, just like as the feeler to see what mm-hmm. the response mm-hmm. from that is. <laughs> It's a 99. He doesn't know what's going on. He's suddenly become a himbo. He wasn't before, now he is. Uh, He goes, oh, yes, well, uh, 
I'm sure my aunt has told you the tales of the uh, the walking stick, a old wife's tale, but um, I'm sure it was one of the... Someone had played a practical joke a long time ago, stuck a walking stick in a tree. Uh, as for the person in the maze, I do have several gardeners that may be doing some upkeep. Do I need to talk to the staff? Was there some? Were they interrupting you? Oh, no, I must say that his dancing was quite masterful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to. In character, yeah, just I'm like, just trying to help him along. Yeah. This. Mm-hmm. Um, he too seemed like he was practicing for tonight's performance. Interesting. I will have to investigate. Uh, you know, a, a tall, thin man is wearing a stunning black suit. Darkest eyes I've ever seen. Wow. Yes. Um, I don't think I recognize anyone quite of that description. <laughs> Lord. And I I don't know whether it was just foolish, hysterical fancy, but there was a moment in, in the middle of the fright where I blinked and I could have sworn that the maze was on fire and there was a darkness in the sky waiting to swallow me whole. Miss Finch, uh, perhaps you've taken too much of the sun. I, I'll, I'll have someone escort you to your rooms. And as you guys start to approach the manor, he calls out for a staff member. Uh, thank you. I, I'll, I'll take her over to from here. Of course. Uh, I hope you feel better soon. Thank you. See you tonight. And as we walk away, I'd like to whistle the tune. <gasps> and like we're walking yeah, away. Love we it. are out. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Yeah. 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 Are you trying to clock his reaction or are you just going? Uh, no, I'm just going. <laughs> you go. All right. You guys are escorted to your room. Would you guys be staying in the same room as sisters or would you uh, have Does separate they... rooms? Yeah, I think we'd. Yeah. Yeah. Same room, I reckon. Great. You guys are escorted up to the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, all your things have been dropped off by this point. It's a simple room, a couple of single wooden framed beds, uh, dressing table, fairly sparse. Is there a timepiece in the room? Yeah. How much time? Because, so Jasper disappeared for three days. I know it's the same day, but I want to do the mental arithmetic on does it feel like the right amount of time has passed since Mm. we left the manor to returning it? Mm. You think you've lost maybe half an hour? Like not significant? No Mm -hmm. one noticed you were missing or anything like that, but you would have had to been dancing for a while to make that make sense yeah is there a window yes okay beautiful i'd like to go i'd like to make sure the window is locked and latched and draw the blinds you do so i'd like to head to the door is there a lock on the door sure i'd like to open the door just look down the corridor is there anybody around roll spot hidden ah damn it so i rolled 54 but for a second i thought it was 45 which is my success Ah. uh no i fail no that's all right you don't spot anyone okay I'd like to close the door and lock it. Great. Do you guys light a candle or something, like a lantern in here? Yeah, I'll uh, once I see what Fifi's doing, I'll start lighting yeah, great. candles. Great. Uh, you guys sit in the candlelight. So, fire? Yes. The maze and and the manor was... Hang on. <coughs> That's in character, don't worry. Yeah. You're so unwell, Aggie. You can't go out tonight. <laughs> I'll go without you. The, the maze and the manor was was in ruin and the sky was was dark and hungry there was something ready to feed what did you see freedom an open expanse uh, uh, bliss ecstasy almost it was like he and i had become one uh, in a way that i've not before i know surprising for me but <laughs> almost intoxicating If I ruined the dance and I saw hellish things, but you danced beautifully and saw beautiful things, Jasper is is doing something with the, the dance and the music and the painting, but I find myself confused as to whether what he will do is to awaken this evil or to prevent its awakening i think we have no way of knowing i the the books that we have from Mm. aubrey yes 
Do they have any kind of illustration? Yeah, there are a few sketches here and there. Yeah. I just like to scan through for like anything in a sketch that like reminds me of the vision that I saw. Yeah, sure. If there's anything that like looks or feels or gives me the same sense of dread that that vision yeah, gave great. me. Yeah, uh, great. Roll a library use check. Are you at the dressing table? Are you on the bed? Are you? I think I scooch closer to wherever the closest candle is, probably on like the yeah. bedside mm-hmm. table and just start great. reading. Uh, 66 is a failure. That's okay. Sophia, what are you doing? As you're going, Aggie, do you think we're unsafe here? I, there's something beyond the sky that poses threat. I think it's the kind of threat that affects everybody. I think that here is just going to be the closest. I, I, I don't have a reference of understanding for what I saw or f- for what I felt at seeing it. But if it's unleashed, this darkness, it does sound as if it spells doom for us. It, it was hungry. I, I don't know for what, but yes, I think it spells doom. Okay, um, I just need to go for a walk. I think I'd like to get some water. Do you want me to go with you? Uh, no, you, you look through the books. I sh- shan't be long. But lock the door behind me. I'll, I'll, I'll give you our special knock. Of course. And I think just before you go, I just reach out and take your hand. Be careful. I will. Just water. And I like to step out. Great. You step out. You start flicking through the books. You're not Mm -hmm. seeing anything of note. But as you're sort of adjusting yourself, trying to get a bit closer to the light to see it, you feel a lump under the mattress. I'm sorry for leaving you alone. (laughs) I was going to have you find it, but then you left. So I think I immediately like completely freeze up. And then just take a moment. It was just a vision. It can't hurt you here. It was just a vision. And then I'm going to stand up and I'm just going to like rip the band-aid off, lift up where I think the lump is under the mattress. Great. You stand and you pull the mattress up quickly and you see a notebook, small leather bound notebook. I'm going to take that and I'm going to (laughs) immediately leave behind my search through the old stuffy books and start rifling through this bad boy wonderful you open it Mm -hmm. uh it appears to be a diary uh partially begun but forgotten only containing four entries all dated 1795 the lettering's large and precise Mm -hmm. uh such as that of a child's handwriting (gasps) props if you want to read any of that out please feel free if you can't read it i I have the translation (laughs) it's all right i've got it third of july 1795 Such a wonderful lesson today. I was taught the final steps, a Catalonian dance that the dancing master says will be the toast of the town next season. He says I am a natural when it comes to dancing. I know I will never grow weary of dancing. 8th of July, 1795. The dancing master said my poise was most excellent. During our lesson, I noticed he had one of the books from Uncle Hugo's study, that one with the peculiar symbol on the cover, written by some dusty old ancestor. When I asked him about it, he told me that there is knowledge available to all who know where to look for it. How wise he is. 10th July, 1795. I managed to sneak into Uncle Hugo's study and find the book. Imagine my surprise when I found out not one, but two new dancers in the back of the book, alongside notes in my dancing master's hand. How impressed with me will he be if I show him a dance he doesn't expect me to know? I made a copy and will head to the maze, away from my grim old aunt to work through the steps. The books that we have, are they, do I think they're the ones that are being spoken about here? From what you've seen, having flicked through to find images specifically, you did not see any dancing notation in these okay. books. Do they have that? Because it said that, like there was a symbol on mm-hmm. the book. There is no symbol on the four books okay. that we have. Um, oh. Sophia, where are you walking to? I'm going to the kitchens for some water. Yeah, you make your way uh, down the steps and down to the lower levels of the house uh, towards the kitchen. Uh, I like to enter the kitchen. You enter the kitchen. Beautiful. Can you describe the kitchen to me in exquisite detail? The kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just get up all my notes for the kitchen. Uh, it is. It takes you away to another realm where you're poor and have to cook for someone else for a living. 
There are candles on the wall. It's a slightly underground area with some of those little high up thin windows that are letting in a little bit of light. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of hustle and bustle. There's a big event going on tonight. Lots Mm -hmm. of people moving around. You aren't immediately noticed. Beautiful. Is there a kitchen knife anywhere? Roll a spot hidden. It's not exactly hidden, but just to, you know, find one that's That's unattended. Yeah, at the moment you don't see any that are not currently in people's eye lines or in use. You could like go up and grab it from a station, but someone is working at the stations with the knives. Okay, I'd like to go up to the youngest man I can find. You go up to a 10-year-old boy. I said youngest (laughs) man. Thank you. (laughs) What's a man in Regency era? Somebody Uh, who would be of courting age to me. Great. You find a pimpled 18-year-old boy who is rushing around gathering up a bunch of dirty pots and taking them towards uh, a sink. Sorry, can I add something else? Yeah. Right. He has to be hot. (laughs) (laughs) No, I want to be near the knives. Yeah. And is he near a knife? Uh, Yeah, he's cleaning some knives. Okay. Oh, hello. I'm so sorry. Can I help you there, please? Oh, my God. And then I'd like to kind of like be accidentally splashing some water. Oh, gee, okay. Uh, (laughs) Roll slide a hand for me. Damn it. That's the one I didn't want it to be. No, fail. That's all right. Are you? Oh, dear. Oh, let me help you there. What what are you doing down here? Can I help you? I'm sorry. I just came in. I'd like to trip him. Okay. (laughs) I'm not there. I'm not there. Yeah. I'm not there. This is the real Nathan Cain play. I guess roll a brawl. 25. Yeah. That is a success. Okay. You trip this poor boy and he goes clattering onto the ground. A few people start to look over. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. And I'd like to grab the biggest kitchen knife I can find and discreetly place it upon my person somewhere that it can't be seen. All right. People are starting to look over. I'll ask you for another sleight of hand check to squirrel it away. It's 53. What's your sleight of hand? 10. <laughs> I'd like to push the roll. Oh, God. Yep. If I can't see it, it's not happening. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You know I love you. <laughs> Get your hands off me. I come in for water. I do not come here to be spoken to in this manner. You keep your hands off me, sir. All right. Roll again. I'm going to fail. Like we 100% yeah. know. That. Yeah. Oh, my God. 63. Oh. The kid on the floor is like, I, I, um, oh, gosh. Uh, and the burly head of the kitchen comes over and goes, what are you doing down here? Accusing my staff. They wouldn't do such a thing. Get out of my kitchen. Go on, get. It's a busy night. We don't need you traipsing around here. Well, I'll take the fixings to make myself a sandwich and I'll grab a knife <laughs> and a plate and storm out. She absolutely does not let like you do that. Out. Okay, I stab her. <laughs> <laughs> and I use the blood to summon Cthulhu myself. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I said it all. She just steps in your way and she's like, Miss. I've got to ask you to put that down. We are very busy in here and head back up to your rooms. If you would like a sandwich, we can bring you one when it comes to luncheon. Do I move on or do I cause this? I mean, yeah, you 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 epically failed. (laughs) This is the result of your actions. I think you just have to take it. Well, I'll be speaking to Sir Jasper about this. As will I. Off you go. Roll reputation for me. Oh, no. That's a fail. This is just the start. Great. Let me have a look at my reputation notes here. I'm going to read these out to you and you tell me which one you think is appropriate. Is this a definite faux pas example, getting caught doing any of the following, sneaking away from a social gathering, sneaking around your host house in the middle of the night. We're pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. That that sounds like it pretty much. The next one, serious infraction example, getting caught doing any of the following, kissing a paramour in a far from chaste manner, breaking into someone's house, assaulting someone, cheating at cards. Well, they didn't see the assault. I mean, they, they saw kind the, of did. Like, yeah, they kind of did. But the fail wasn't the assault. The fail was the stealing the knife. Yeah. So I think it's the first one because it was her being hysterical in the yeah. kitchen and I'll lying about the staff. I'd say if you'd done it to anyone but a member of staff, it would go all the way to 1D10, which is making a false accusation of a serious nature. But because it's staff and they're not people, uh, go ahead and roll a 1D6 for me. I'll yeah, take that That sounds three. about right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, reduce your 
reputation by three. Is your oh your reputation's the same as mine now? How exciting! I would like to, in a, a huff, oh. throw everything onto the ground and walk out. All right, you leave. Well done. I'm not time to go back to me. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. So no, I've been doing things. So so Jasper was going into the maze, right? Yes. From what we understood. Yeah, you didn't see where he went exactly yeah. uh, after he escorted you back okay. towards the house, but right. originally he was. But going he like into he didn't maze. go into the house with us. No, I'd like to go to his library, please. Amazing. You head to Sir Jasper's study. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe you're split up for this. This is great. <laughs> I want to get that book, and that I'm book. fairly certain that's where it's going to be. Wonderful. You head towards the library. Mm. We're going to jump back briefly to Sophia, just because I'm curious what you're doing at this point. I'd like to head to Lieutenant Wandsworth's room. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Good! <laughs> are you trying to steal? Because he's a military man, right? There are many layers to yeah. what I'm trying to get out of Wandsworth. <laughs> All right. You head to Wandsworth's room. Are you trying to find Wandsworth or find his room empty? I'd like to find Wandsworth ideally, but if I happen to find his empty room... How convenient. Great. Roll a luck check. That's a three, which is just a success. Wonderful. So you prefer to find him in his room? That is my preference. Great. You arrive at his room and the door is currently closed. (laughs) Lieutenant Wandsworth, are you there? Sophia Finch, please. Please let me in. He opens the door. My Miss Sophia, how may I help you? Please may I come in? (laughs) This can't be a serious conversation. I'm so sorry. And and she'd like to kind of like dishevel her hat. I just, I am obsessed that Sophia's idea of causing less of a scene is I'm going to go be alone <laughs> with a man in his room. Oh, man. You rolled <laughs> like if so. You get caught. Rolled so good on that luck check, though. So there is no one that sees you entering Lieutenant Ronsworth's room as he invites you in to sit. Yes, please come in. How, what's the matter? <laughs> Oh, Wandsworth, I, was, I just went down into the kitchens just for a glass of water. I needed some refreshment after being in the hedges. And a server boy attacked me. Oh, my goodness. But I managed to push him away and he fell to the ground. And the worst bit of it, Wandsworth, is that nobody there believed me. I simply had to leave. My, Miss Sophia, that sounds like quite a serious infraction. Perhaps we should bring I would it- say only a minor one. <laughs> <laughs> just a D6. <laughs> Perhaps we should bring it to the attention of Sir Jasper. Oh, no. No, we, we saw him at the hedge. He's he's very focused on this evening. The last thing I would want to do is, is cause any kind of scene. I just, I'm terrified that they're going to be causing some kind of issue at the party tonight or, or at luncheon. Oh, of course. Uh, how may I assist you? Well, I just, we've come here with just us two sisters and I would love to have them, the wisdom and the strength and the security of a strong military man like you. Is he engaged to Harriet or just courting nope. her? Just okay. courting at okay. the moment. She expects a proposal soon. Yeah. Roll a charm. Sh- surely it could be something else. <laughs> surely it could be persuade. If or you would like or- if you would like to lean it more towards a persuasion check, you're not trying to use your innocence and your charm, then yes, I would allow it to be a persuade. It is charm though. Yeah. <sighs> I appreciate the honesty. Oh, my God. Nathan. That's uh, an extreme success with a th- uh, with a two. Nathan. Why, Miss Sophia, I, anything that I can do, what would you like from me? Well, your watchful eye for first. Just keep an eye on me tonight. It would be my absolute pleasure to keep an eye on you. Oh. <laughs> Lieutenant Wandsworth, thank you. And I'd like to stand and walk away from him towards the door and then turn. I'm just concerned about my safety here. I'm trained in the use of some small weapons at home. My! (laughs) (laughs) What a strange pastime for a young lady! You wouldn't perhaps have something that I could just carry up on my person just to make myself feel more secure? That is a strange request. 
<laughs> I'm going to say roll a persuade. This is a serious infraction. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but I will also, because you rolled so darn well on that charm, I'll give you a bonus die. <sighs> so I take the lower. Yes, whichever one does you better. How? So it's a seven, which again is an extreme success. Let me show you my assortment of weapons. (laughs) (laughs) Please take whatever you may like. (laughs) It's a thrill. I have to go see Harriet and he leaves you alone (laughs) in his room unsupervised to have your pick of weapons. Okay, cool. What are the weapons? (laughs) What would you like then to be, Mr. Seven? I love that this is famously like the no combat yeah. game and Nathan's like, give me swords, give yes. me knives. <laughs> yeah, whatever a military man would have. Let me be very clear. I just wanted to get a kitchen knife yeah. and then be done with it. But no, you forced my hand. The dice forced your hand. He'd have like a hunting knife. Yeah. He'd have a pen knife. He'd have. I'm going to say he has some sort of like. Uh, Pistol? No. <laughs> um, excuse me? Uh, yeah, I mean, you rolled so good. <laughs> Yeah, okay, he has a pistol, he has a hunting knife, a decorative knife that he plans to wear to the ball. Mm-hmm. That'd probably be a decorative sword Yeah, as well. I was going to yeah. say, and a decorative sword. Okay, I'll just take the hunting knife. Yeah. It's very I sensible. imagine it has a strap of some kind. Can I strap it to my leg? Uh, yes, you lift up your many layers of petticoats. If you'd like, you can probably make like a discreet little slit so that you can reach directly in and grab it rather than having to Sounds great. go fishing. Do you head back to the room? Yes, but I'd like to look outside the door to see if anybody else is there. Uh, fantastic. Roll spot hidden because it's just a perception check. <laughs> 98. 98. Oh. Yep. If you get caught. Uh, roll a luck check. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, yeah. No, that's just a success. It's a four. Yeah. You lucky. <laughs> no one's there. You don't see anyone and there is no one. Okay, I head back to our room. You head back to your room and for making things easy, you make your way back to the room as Agnes is leaving it towards the library. Oh, heading out, Agnes? I think we need to look in Sir Jasper's library. Okay. But I think perhaps, and I think I take in that Sophia does look a little bit disheveled right now. Yeah. This is a time for the discreet approach. Absolutely. And I'm just going to start walking because it's we're on the same floor, yeah. is it? Yeah. So I'm just going to start walking towards the library. Wonderful. Discreet approach. I don't know what she's talking about. This <laughs> has changed. Can I fix my hat and try, yes. try and make myself a little bit more presentable? You become presentable. You make your way to Sir Jasper's library. I'd also like to just have my book, my empty book bag with mm-hmm. me. Great. The study is quiet and still. Lining the wall are floor-to-ceiling mahogany bookshelves with a layer of thick dust on them. In the centre of the room is a chaise lounge, a short table with a tray of barely touched food. Air is thick and pungent, as if someone's been living in here for a while. And there's empty wine bottles of fine vintage scattered here and there. There's a large window on the other side of the room with a piano forte underneath it, strewn with papers. In the corner of the room, there's a wooden lectern with a leather-bound book. And on one of the walls, scratched meticulously and painstakingly into the plaster, are the words, tread carefully. Where would you like to go? What would you like to do? I'm going to take that very literally and I'm going to be walking very softly and watching my step as I go. Is there like a bookshelf? There's lots of bookshelves, yeah. Like Sophia seems to have a pretty good handle on the tune of the song. Um, Fifi, can you go and look at? the music on the pianoforte and see if any of it matches the song we heard in the maze. Certainly. Does the door have a lock? Sure. Can we please lock the door behind us? You certainly can. Thank you. All right. Uh, And then I'm going to head over to, I'll start with the lectern. Great. And looking at the book that is there. Wonderful. You approach the lectern, Mm -hmm. look at the book, leather bound and closed, displaying a strange sigil inked on its cover. Hell yeah. Boom. You notice something funny. Mm -hmm. It's so weird. It's the same symbol as sort of the shape of the hedge maze. Looking at the spine, it reveals itself to be Aubrey Dolphray's Reliquae Britanniae, Volume 5. Hell yeah. Uh, There are many loose pieces of paper tucked into the book and a bookmark sticking out from its pages. Okay. Immediately to the bookmark. Turning to the bookmark page, you see an entry on a phenomenon or a ritual known as the Dance of the Delirious. The entry reads, 
In the year 1522 AD, when the stars were right, in the locale of Coventry, there occurred among the populace a remarkable and terrible affliction, in which men and women in their madness began to dance day and night, until finally these Terpsichoreans, in ecstatic pleasure, did perish. Uh, Adjacent to the paragraph in an unfamiliar hand is a stave of musical notes Mm -hmm. and a crude dance notation, which matches the symbol on the front of the book. Okay. I mean, this is talking about dancing, but it doesn't match up with what Sir Jasper said about like a brand new dance at the back of the book in my mind. So like, where are the extra pages? Like you said that there were like pages and stuff shoved into the Mm -hmm. book. I just want to start flicking to like those. Yeah, roll a library use for me. (laughs) Yeah, ninety-two. Um, Oof. <laughs> roof. There's a lot of a lot of pages. Yeah, yeah. You start looking through that. Mm. Meanwhile, Sophia, mm-hmm. uh, you head over to Piano Forte, uh, covered with papers, uh, many of which you can see are scribbled spidery musical staves. As you look through them, there's a phrase repeated over and over again, uh, spiraling throughout the music. These terpsichoreans in ecstatic pleasure did perish. Also among the papers is an ink-stained sheet that appears to be some kind of dancing notation in a strange pattern. Anything familiar? Which, what what are you looking at first? Um, I would like to... Music or the dance? I'm the dancer probably more than the pianist, so I would say, can I look at the dancing notation? Absolutely. You see an ink-stained smudge sheet of dancing notation, which, roll a dancing check for me. Oh. That's a fail. It's okay. You no, noti- it's not okay, but that's all right. <laughs> it's not. I'm not allowed to fail. You see uh, it's a very strange pattern, mm-hmm. uh, and, yeah, you, you notice the pattern's the same as the shape of the hedge maze, mm-hmm. but you can't quite figure it out. You're not as familiar. You've been taught mostly by being shown dancers. You haven't mm-hmm. seen the notation very often. Can I try and look through the music to identify whether it be with that line that you were reading or – just like a common melody or a repeated yeah. phrase to see if it's similar to the repeated phrases that we would have known. Absolutely. From the song. Are you humming it? Are you playing it on the piano forte? Are you? I would not be playing anything in the place <laughs> we're not supposed to be. I'll be humming quietly to myself. Quiet. Yeah, absolutely. So you recognize it as mm-hmm. the tune that the dancing master was humming under his breath mm-hmm. when you were dancing in the maze. Yeah, you can't get the full breadth of it because mm. obviously there is more than just like a yeah. melody, but you, you recognize the melody as the same. Aggie, I, the music seems familiar and I, I can't read this dance notation, but I would make an assumption that this is what we've been looking at. I found an entry in, this is, this is the fifth volume of Aubrey's mm-hmm. works. There was a, a group of people in, in the 1500s in Coventry, they, I think they did this dance and strange to say it, it killed them. They couldn't stop and then they perished. There's this line in the music. These chaps accordions in ecstatic pleasure did perish. It repeats over and over again. Fifi, I think if we dance tonight, something horrible will happen. I think if we dance tonight, we may not ever stop. Well... I'll head out and organize a carriage. We'll head home. <laughs> That's it. We'll wrap it up. <laughs> Sounds good. Fifi, your friends are here. <laughs> Sorry, I would actually say that. <laughs> no, I love it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because I'm it makes like, it easier for Jess, who yeah. never has to run it. Yeah, I'm like, uh, well, I'm not. I'm not staying. It's like, oh, well, if you dance, you die. <laughs> okay, bye then. Yeah. I'm out. Well, we can't. We can't dance then. I, it's it's not just us. Fifi, if we let anyone dance. What are we going to say? What are we going to tell them? That there's a magic dance that will cause them to dance forever until they die? We'll be laughed out. I have a sterling reputation to uphold. (laughs) (laughs) I, um, I'd like to have a more thorough look here before we leave Sir Jasper's study. There were more notes in this book i just i my head is everywhere and i can't seem to manage looking through them i thought perhaps if i looked around and you could find anything else in this text certainly um, why would jasper write tread carefully on this hall that's what confuses me why would he write it for himself i, I don't know and i'm terrified too i have a feeling it may be a message to him 
To what purpose? I don't know. I, mm, can I look at the wall? You look at the wall. <laughs> it looks back. <laughs> <laughs> Feed. I'll do a sort of, I'll hand Fifi the book, because you said it's like scratched into the plaster. Yeah. So if it was like scratched in a hurry, if it was done slowly and yeah. deliberately, if I can glean it all through the depth of the scratching, like mm. how, like what instrument could have produced that effect. I would let that be a spot hidden or psychology. I'll take psychology. Great. Meanwhile, Sophia, do you want to roll a library use check? Uh, 37, which is a success. Wonderful. You look and you find that it is something that hasn't been done in one go. Mm -hmm. It's been retraced several times. It's been done over a period of time. And you can tell it was done with strangely a sense of urgency, okay. even though it's been done again and again and yeah. again, each time it was done with the same fervor, the same manic energy to get it out. And if it was handwriting, you'd be able to tell if it was mm. Sir Jasper's, but yeah. because it's something scratched on a wall, it's a bit too hard to decipher, yeah. but you know that it's been done over a period of time and it's been yeah. done many, many times. Yeah. Sophia, what did you get? I rolled a 59. Mm-hmm but I spent nine luck points oh, Nathan. Yep. in order to make it a 50, which is a success. Wonderful. I don't have much luck to burn anymore. What are you down to? 30. Okay. So it's not terrible, but- if I'm need- still on 50. Yeah, if I need to make a luck roll, yep. looking dicey. So are you specifically looking through the pieces of paper or just as at the book as a whole? I believe I'm looking at the pieces of yep. paper. Great, wonderful. That's what I was directed to do. Uh, you pull out one of the pieces of paper tucked into the book. Uh, you look through a couple of them but you find one titled The Dance of Restitution. Underneath is an unfamiliar symbol and the following words. A clergyman called Thomas of Erm did devise a way to disrupt a similar dancing plague that struck the village of Wanborough in Wiltshire, but three years after Coventry. The pattern of his steps is thusly recorded here for posterity, lest such a plague rears its head o'er this septed Isle once more. And that's dancing notation, believe it or not. It's that cheapest, creepiest. Yeah, it's weird, right? That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. So can we read this? Theoretically, I- with a dancing roll? I'd, I'd really love it if maybe you checked that now to see if, because you couldn't tell whether this was the dance you did in the maze, so maybe just like checking if that was the dance you did in the maze, just to be sure. Sure. Roll a dance. Ooh. Okay. It sounds important. No, it's it's not. Okay. It's not. So it's stop, not. Stop spending your luck. It's but not. I can just spend it's more not. luck. It's fine. It's I've not. got the luck to it's burn. Not. Don't do it. You I'm going to push it. <laughs> you can push it. No, no. I, there's no way I can. Um, I don't have an alternate. Yeah. No, because okay, there is a way you could push it. Play the music and try to dance it at the same time. See if it lines up. Because what I want to do, because he hasn't taken the sheet music to the musicians yet. So I want to, <sighs> if we think that. The dance on the sheet music is this one. Mm-hmm. I want to go through and change some crotchets to quavers. <laughs> I want to I want to mess with it so it gets played wrong. But we don't know which dance it is. Yeah, exactly. And for only six luck points, we could find out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's your call. But that's what I want to do. Like, he's been so specific about the music and the dance needing to be perfect. It's like a stroke of a pen to turn a crotchet to a quaver and that could be enough to mess it up and it might be enough that he doesn't notice it if he's handing it to the musicians. Mm -hmm. I want to try and mess with what he's doing. But if it's this, we could be Mm -hmm. ruining his attempt to save the world. Yes. I have spent the six luck points. So now we can know if this is the dance we learned. That is not the dance you learned. Okay. 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 Aggie, this is not the dance we've learned. This is. I, I, I fear that we've... Can you learn... That one? Absolutely, with the 33. I've, <laughs> I'm incredibly confident. All right. Um, I'm going to do something probably very stupid, um, and I'm going to walk over to all of the sheet music yep. on the piano, and I want to change something on every single page. Fantastic. I want to find a crotch that I can turn into a quaver. I yep. want to find two notes close together that aren't linked that I can link. Um, I want to make something staccato that was long i want to like any little any of those little musical notation tricks that you can add to a note that's already written without Mm. 
having to like change something drastically so it looks like it was like a, I had to cross something out and redo it. This is really good. And while she's doing that, I think that, oh God, this looks like it would take forever, but would it yeah. take forever for somebody who knows what they're doing to no, write No, you down can this? start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to copy down this dance because we can't take this piece of paper with us. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we could, but yeah. that would sound like it would be a bad idea. I'd like to copy yeah. it down. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Down. Damn. Copy it down. I have to copy, copy Great. It down you begin to do that. Agnes, I'd love for you to make a sleight of hand yep. check, but because it's such a good idea, I will give you a bonus die for it. Oh, thank God. Okay, so my sleight of hand is a 30 and I just rolled a 29. Incredible. You deftly begin to change the notes on this sheet music. You find every copy and just little notations here and, and there. And I want it to be like a different thing on every copy so that like it's a little thing on each one, but cumulatively it will sound discordant because they're all doing a different thing wrong. Incredible. I do need a group block check. And the way that works okay. is I need one person to roll yeah. and they're rolling against the lowest luck in the group. Against your 24. 24. I can't spend luck on a luck, can nope. I? That's a 22. Oh, my God. And with that, Agnes, you finish changing the sheet music. Sophia, you finish copying down the tune. And like a breeze on the wind, you were never there. You replace everything exactly how it was and you slip out of the study, ready to begin your preparations for the night. And that's where we'll end the session. You've been listening to Best Left Forgotten. You can find and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Best Left Podcast and on our Best Left Forgotten Facebook page, where we post updates, info, and additional content. Music by Kevin McLeod and Incompetech.com, licensed under Creative Commons by Attribution 3.0. Full song list and additional artists can be found in the episode description. Cover art by Caddy Wampus, who can be found on Fiverr. Thanks to Jess Wolfendale, our editor, Miriam Feets, our social media manager, and Nathan Quadrio, our producer. If you enjoyed our podcast today, please leave a review and tell your friends. 